Hey everybody, and welcome to Meals with Melissa, where I come up with healthier options of things you love to eat. Now, I know that I hear all the time, my food is boring, healthy food is boring. I'm like, that's just because you don't know what to add to make it taste good. So, today we are going to make six minute air fryer shrimp, um, and I'm trying out a new ring light. It's really, really bright, so let me know if you can actually see me, because it's really hard to see myself in my phone right now. All right, super, super simple. So, we're gonna start with shrimp that I've already cleaned, deveined. Now, the recipe calls for raw shrimp, but we're actually gonna just use pre-cooked shrimp because that's what I have on hand. So I'm not gonna cook it for a full six minutes. Now, I've already made a batch, um, and so I'm not gonna actually heat up the air fryer, uh, the air fryer at the moment, but I'm going to, if I, when I do it, I'm actually going to preheat it for uh, at 400 degrees, um, and then of course you're gonna cook it for six minutes, and ours is preset, so it's super easy. Now. To make cleanup easier because, oh, you know, I like to make cleanup easy. You know, I had kids for a lot of years and to clean up the mess in a really super fast way is a godsend, right? So of course, you know, we're gonna use a little bit of tin foil or aluminum foil um, in our basket. Pre-spray it with a little bit of a spray. Now we are adding some olive oil so we don't really need a whole lot of that. It's not gonna stick like last week's recipe. So um, super simple today. Okay. so. All we're gonna do is gonna throw some spices in a bowl, we're gonna throw the shrimp in there and we're gonna cook it. So we're gonna do about a half a teaspoon of some garlic powder. And I'm just gonna throw this in my bowl, have it ready to go um, really fast, um, throw that shrimp in there. So half a, half a teaspoon, and of course I love garlic, so you know, I just mind getting a little more than it calls for. All right, so garlic, garlic powder, not garlic salt. All right, some dried parsley, okay, about a half a teaspoon of that as well. Um, and of course, I mean, I guess you could use fresh, but why, why, you know, it's a little more expensive. Why not? This is cheap stuff from the store. All right. Now the recipe calls for sweet paprika, but I could not find that anywhere. We're just going to use regular paprika. You could use some smoke. That's totally up to you. Um, but I'm just going to use what I have on hand. So, so about a half teaspoon of paprika, throw that in there. All right. And then a little bit of salt. Okay. And of course, you know, it always calls for kosher salt or Himalayan salt. I'm going to use what I have on hand. <laughs> That's part of figuring it out. All right, and I'm just going to eyeball this. I'm just going to do about an eighth of a, of a teaspoon for that. And then I'm going to mix it all together. All right, now I'm going to add to this. I'm just using a rubber spatula. I'm going to add to this about a tablespoon of olive oil. That's honestly all I need. Now, I'm only doing about 10 shrimp. Uh, the recipe calls for 32. If you want to make a big batch, go for it. It depends on how, you know, how many people you're cooking for. The great thing about shrimp is they're very low fat. So to get enough protein, you actually have to eat quite a bit. And I love shrimp, so I'm okay with that. Um, but they're not cheap. So it really depends on how much you, you truly want to make with that and how big your family is. Okay, I'm going to add a tablespoon of EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to make sure that it's blended really well together. So when I throw the shrimp in there, that it's going to be super simple to coat each of the shrimp before I cook them. So I'm just mixing that with my rubber spatula. All right, and like I said, I've already cleaned and debated the shrimp. So I'm just gonna throw those in there super fast, mix them around to coat them and throw it in my little tray for cooking in the air fryer. Now, air fryers are great. You know, it's great to have some, some tools, whether it's an Instapot, I mean, we use a rice cooker quite a bit. You know, whatever makes it easy. I know that in this day and age, we're all so busy you know, that to make healthy food, it's important, but it's not always easy to do. So the better that you have some great tools to use, you know, the easier it's going to be to be able to reach your goals. All right, so I just mix those together and I'm gonna throw those in my tray and throw them in my air fryer. These only took about three minutes. If I would have done more than that, they would have overcooked. Um, so I really, I knew that going in that I didn't have the raw shrimp, so I didn't need to cook them um, quite as long. So I'm gonna throw that in there. We'll throw that in the air fryer. That's super, super fast. Now, if you don't have an air fryer, of course you can cook them in a pan with a little bit of oil in there. Please do not use vegetable oil. That stuff is horrific for you. All right, so here's how they turn out. They're just cute. You know, you could throw these on some rice, cauliflower rice, um, whatever works for your meal plan, your macros, just make sure, you know, the less processed, the better. And I'm just gonna throw a little bit of fresh lemon juice on top of that for some flavor. And there you go. 
super fast, super simple, didn't take very long, right? That's, that's the best part. Make it convenient, make it easy, and make it taste good. And that way your family will eat it too. All right, well, I get my very best ideas from you. So if you have an idea you would love to share, we love having a community that loves to share so that we can all help each other be healthy and happy. So either leave a comment down below. You can message me directly at Facebook Messenger. Um, and if you are watching this on YouTube, or if you're not watching it on YouTube, please go to my YouTube channel on your Fillmore Fitness. Um, hit the, no the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get all of the new videos that are coming out and the new recipes. And of course, I've got one every week. So check back and you'll see what I come up with. All right, guys, have a great one. Happy spring. We'll see you soon.